there's a video that I came across mm-hmm. and I was sort of I taken aback by it. Mm-hmm. And then it made me think of a Drake lyric. So it was Mustafa the poet who put together a documentary where he was interviewing a bunch of Toronto rappers. Mm. He happened to get a sit down with Drake. Okay. And on there, he put everybody's name in their name key and what area they're from to qualify them. In, in the industry, they call it a qualifier, the thing that goes under your name key. So everybody had their name, whatever rap name they go by, and then where they're from underneath. Mm. When Drake popped up, there was nothing. It was just Drake. Mm. So it made me sit there and wonder, there is no area that this guy even claims like that. And then it made me think of, because what I know of him and his background, he spent a whole lot of his younger days out by Jaina Eglinton, Scarlet Road. But in his lyrics, he speaks so much about being a rapper, uh, uh, rep in the East. Yeah, I rep the East. East with my trustees. How are you a Western man that reps the East? Well, I'm not going to try to... Um, but from a Toronto man standpoint, yeah. you know that's never going to happen. Yeah, so, you know, I feel... I don't want to get into, like, the, the hood politics of it all, but from my understanding, Drake grew up in Forest Hill, you know, um, a uh, very affluent Jewish neighborhood. And um, I think the reason why he has those ties to the East End is because a lot of his rap crew is from the east like when you look at what's 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 his dude's name um p rain Rain. he's from scarborough yeah but there's a there's a story that's attached with that relationship too though yeah so i I don't know all the inner workings of the the politics of the story and all Mm -hmm. that stuff but i i know that there's that connection to the east end but he also he's i think he's he's dropped there it is no qualifiers just his name but you look at everybody else yeah but Look where he is at this stage in his career. Do you need to qualify Drake? No, well, not in terms of a qualifier. But like I said, the qualifier was just what area they're from. And every single one of them had it except him. Here's the thing, though. Like, getting into this. Because a lot of us take pride in where we're from. And from yeah. a rapper standpoint, not to cut you out, but from a rapper standpoint, where's Jay-Z from? Oh, Marcy, Brooklyn. So I, Where's Brooklyn? In New York? It's like, it's New, he's, see, he's but, American. But, he's from New York. Where in New York? Brooklyn. I, where I, in Brooklyn? Marcy, Marcy. Projects. Where's Nas from? I got you, Queens. I get, I get what you're saying. Queensbridge, like we know where these but guys I, are I from. I feel like if Jay Z was to be a part of this, where there's Jay Z and there's a bunch of other rappers that are not nearly as well known as Jay Z, I don't think they would. But take any rapper. Y- y- you're you're comparing. This is almost like that other comparison. Where's Kendrick from? Where's Cole from? It's 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 not the same thing. How so? I don't feel that anybody knows any of these places and the audience that he's trying to show this to, or even just Drake as a but brand. But does that matter? It's, you think anyone heard you of were, Marcy Project? Oh, exactly. Jay-Z? When you were younger, did you know about Long Beach? It's not, it's not like that. What I'm saying is there's more of a consumer in those areas, and there's that's like the, the majority of the music that's coming out of there. So whereas, want- whereas hip-hop isn't as big in Toronto prior to... Basically, Drake. Wait, what? No, so no, you want no, to no, see? No, no, so no, you no. want? He's he's not targeting a Canadian crowd at this point. He's targeting an American crowd. So but was tar- no, but he was always though. That's the thing, and that goes back to the whole argument where you're from the city, you have to go to the America to get pop it, and then yeah. come back, and then all of a sudden we accept you now. Yeah, I get what you're saying. By the way, just so you understand, I get what you're saying. Yeah, but but at the same time, to me, it's like a lot of these artists will still rep where they're from, though. I, I think I think first of all, where. Um, this could have been as simple as they forgot to put in the yeah, <laughs> whatever yeah. they would have put in, right? But even to your point of what he's saying, you right? think it, it could have got so simple as well? I don't know, like maybe, maybe they forgot. No, maybe like the way that he's <laughs> saying like, that. <laughs> maybe, maybe when he's saying um, the the bar that you just quoted, right? Something about the east or whatever, but yeah. he's from the west. Whatever. I mean, he's, he's, giving, he, he's giving a shout out to his. Crew, yeah, but right? he'll, he'll no, but he'll still reference the west in some ways. Yeah, like he'll talk about working Western at Road. JDs. Yeah, Western Road flows. Um, C yeah. says that, that's almost he like, has West End yeah. references, but yeah. to say that you rep the East, what West End man do you know that's gonna go so far to say I rep the East if I'm from the West? Yeah, yeah. More times you're like you're big up like the East, and you're big up the East man. You're yeah. like, you know what I mean? Shout I mean, out to but, G- but might, you, like, but, might, like, <laughs> like, like, the, but you're not gonna claim like claiming and bigging up is two different. Like you can have respect on the side, on the other side, whatever, whatever. But at the end of the day, you're gonna claim home. It, it, I, I feel like com- I, I feel like he's 
big enough to just have Toronto. Yeah, that's kind of. But when did he become Canada for that? But when did he become that? Because every other rapper that we know speaks to where they are from, yeah, exactly where they are from. But there's no other. Who's he comparing himself to? Okay, let's 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 start. Jay Z. Let's, let's say. Hold on, no, hold but on. That, that's the thing, right? So there in New York, everyone is claiming their borough. In L.A., everyone is. Yeah, but even now, when so you listen to a lot of the rappers now, they all Carlin Ro- Eglinton, yo, Von Road. Did, does he really claim that in his songs, though? Yeah, I, I've heard I, him I mean, to the- I mean. I don't. I've only heard like a handful of Carnival songs, but I don't. I don't remember him screaming. I. I. I, I don't. I, maybe I missed it. You could be right, but it, how much it, card now are you taking I, 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 in? Her, her, here's what I'll say. I've heard Drake shout out more different areas in Toronto than any other Canadian rapper on his level. Would that be a fair statement? Yeah, it's definitely a first thing. I get well, yeah, true. Even Shaq okay. has so many different states. Because even Tory yeah, so, Lane, yeah, you give him that. Yeah. Is, is, even Tory was from what? He was, loosely, you'd hear Brampton every once in a, a yeah, while. Yeah, but at least Drake has referenced Jungle, the East End, it's like he's Galloway. Put, he, he's like done more than he's like, putting a light yeah. on it. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, you yeah, know yeah. what I mean? So for whoever else wants to rep it harder than him, here you go. I, I, I've, I've said it, and now you, you go take it where you want to take it. Yeah. Having said that, though, I feel like if you, we get that the audience here is small and we get that you got to go to the States to blow up or whatnot, right? But that's going to change too, kind of like the WNBA thing. Like it's growing, it's brewing still. Mm. But if you have the ability to just rep the six instead of dividing it already, right? Wouldn't you do that to just right. be open to getting support from the other side as well? I guess. You know what well, I mean? And from also, a business standpoint, from a marketing branding that, standpoint. Like, is, is that the way, like, how are you looking at it? As I don't think he looked at it the way you're looking at it at yeah. all. I think he just said, yeah. And <laughs> yeah, you also got to understand where when Drake won being on Degrassi, he just grew up different, right? So it's not like he grew up in these well-known black neighborhoods across the city of Toronto he grew up in an area that wasn't a well-known, it wasn't a black neighborhood. Exactly. Period. So it's just like, it's a different approach from him. Even though he even said he's a diff, like, you gotta different, like, you got to think about how much of an anomaly Drake is on his own. I love yeah, you yeah, saying think that. Think about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You have a Canadian rapper who's half black, who's half Jewish. Yeah. That yeah. doesn't rap about selling drugs. And has no Jamaican gang- in him. Or or, <laughs> or, or or is not a gangster rapper. Yeah. And for a long time, he's been like the number one rapper or the top five rapper in the world. Yeah. Like, look he how many... Sings. He sings. Look look, look how many little yeah. things there that yeah. are just Shit. like not normal. It's yeah. not normal at all. <laughs> and, and, and then you, you could cater to the guys and the women. Yeah, like you can sing and, on one and, album and, and rap, and, and, and now, like, now the way that he's catering to Europe and like all these different genres so, of music. Even okay. Kanye said Drake was a blip in the algorithm. 